I always wanted to be like a storyteller. And then like comics were really interesting to me, but my two favorite comic artists at the time, Dan Klaus and Chris Ware, in every interview, they were like, don't do this job. So I never considered that an option. And then I noticed that novelists all kill themselves. So I was like, filmmakers rarely kill themselves. So I figured that was a better, uh, that would be a happier vocation. Well, first, there was, I was obsessed with this location, this um, hotel called the Aztec Hotel out in Monrovia. It's like this old hotel on Route 66 that was like a spot where like the Rat Pack would like hang out back in the day. And it was like all beautiful and like really nicely done. And it became like a transient hotel. And it was like totally run down. So it's like this beautiful, old, weird, idiosyncratic hotel with like people who are on their last legs living there. It just had so much texture. It was like haunted with like, you could tell it was like haunted with stories. So it was super inspiring. And then I like came up with this character, Echo Johnson, who would be like the centerpiece of the people who live there. And then once I figured him out, it gave me like a character and a locale. I always think that he's the character I aspire to be. Like his state of mind is like the state of mind I aspire to. I'm like too neurotic and a, too much of a workaholic to, to get there, but like hopefully someday. I didn't go to film school. I came to Yale to study um, like painting and photography to be a fine art major. Yeah. And then at some point on that trajectory, it was like, this is just the loneliest pursuit. So then I was like, well, maybe, you know, what's photography is more people, I guess, film. I was in college when a lot of the like Title IX sort of like a lot of the campus rape charges were bubbling up. And I happened to have some friends, two male friends actually, who were involved in situations that are sort of similar to share. You know, it's in some ways so much about, you know, without excusing anybody's sort of like actions in the, those situations, it's like so much more about technology and like the media and the sort of the way we view our own lives through a screen and other people's lives through a screen and how that sort of like alters the way you relate to other people. I'm not one of those people who denies that there is a different experience for men, you know, and women or people of color, you know, or people who are otherwise like marginalized. I think there it's also important for them to just be recognized as artists, you know, like I do want people to just think of me as like a filmmaker first and foremost. I try to make films for everyone and I hope that just because a film has a female lead, that doesn't make it a woman's film, you know, like the vast majority of films I'm watching or that, you know, unfortunately everyone is watching are male leads. And I don't think we would call those all male films. I think we would say that like those films speak to like the human experience and like I can identify with those people even though I'm not a man. You know, so I think there's something about saying like a woman's film that like closes off who can interact with that kind of story and who can empathize with those kinds of characters, which I think is like really dangerous and sad. You know, I think that like I hope that like the goal for for me in that film, if I had to have a goal, would be that like you care about you know what she's going through and can see yourself in that position especially if you're a man. I studied cinematography in, in college and I, I work as a cinematographer uh, kind of you know at its impetus to be like a better director. I always just associated the two. Cinema is like a visual language. Not only do I have a passion for photography growing up, I felt that if I can be really great at this, if I can do a really great job at this, it would just, it can only help my directing. Ben had, literally had like a dream one night about this, this idea for this film. Um, at that point, it didn't have a title, but it was about these teenagers in the 90s experimenting with violence. Uh, more importantly, beneath all of that, it was about like friendship. Um, and he wanted me to direct it. The, the films take place in a real world, and so everyone involved in the production all brought something to it in terms of their memory of being a kid, their memory of growing up in the 90s, through working in, in film as like a cinematographer and for you know, however many years, you learn quickly that it's great to work with friends. And there's just no, there's, there's no like, other way to do it. Um, in my mind and so like I think that's the strive and that's the goal is to constantly keep doing that and so it's great to make film it's great to like make anything but it's like that much better to be doing it with people that you love and care about and and I can't I can't imagine having made this or anything like any other way <laughs>